Okay, we're making some progress here, I think. Um, I decided to drill the holes and mount it. Uh, reason being, I think it'll be... I, I need it in a, a, in just a fixed position, I think, when I work the the um, Sculpey. Why is it called Sculpey? I mean, what did the guy make his five-year-old name it? New Sculpey. Yeah, Sculpey. Obviously, this is getting to me. Well, yeah, an array of tools I've never had before. And they're working quite well. Um, drill bits. I went with uh, tiny, then a little bigger, then the right one. Marked them for depth. This one I couldn't tape. I marked with a pen. And then uh, marked these just to make sure. Um, drilling them to the right depth. I think I read somewhere that in wood it's very important that the screw go to the right depth because if the hole travels any further, it's uh, an avenue for cracks. So uh, I just wanted the screws to bottom perfectly. And uh, this one obviously had to travel a little bit further than it's used to before contacting wood just because the inside of the original one had a... Um, I'm going to put it in the next video. I have some pictures, and I'll take pictures of what's on my phone. and uh, Or I'll, I'll take put them on my iPad and then show them to you with this. Um, that this was actually a big lump of wood that fit inside here. So the screw actually went into that. Now the screw had to travel through a lot of air space. See in there? Before it bit. But it still bit about, I'd say... Maybe like that much <laughs> into the wood. You know, I got like uh, two or three threads in there. So I just got to be careful not to over tighten because I'll pull the wood right out. But it, it does go in pretty, pretty, nice and, pretty nice and solid. And I don't want to take it in and out too many times. So I'm going to uh, take it off now, uh, fill it, and uh, put it back on. Sculpted to fit. Back the screws out one more time. This way I'll have a nice screw hole through the Sculpey here. Where I will be able to drill it out more later if necessary. Hey, maybe it would be a good idea just to leave Sculpey in there without the screw. Because you can drill that and maybe thread into that and make that bite a little better. That's a thought. That's a thought. But the top came out nice. I'm happy with that. That looks pretty good. It's uh, perfectly flat to the top. That doesn't look like anything that the Swiss wouldn't have done. And like I said, it will. Look, you won't even see that edge once it gets uh, BLO'd. And uh, it's not that bad on the bottom. I kind of, I kind of uh, tapped it with a hammer, seeing if it would move. Eh, that ain't moving. I was just peening it on the bottom. I wasn't even moving it so I figured I'm not I don't want to mess up the metal on it it's just gonna have to overhang a little bit like that that's just gonna be it that's gonna be it then I'm gonna take it off all as one unit and bake it in the oven in the butt plate butt plate and all the whole thing and then when that cools I'm just hoping that it uh, goes on and it didn't shrink or change or warp or crack and then it'll fill in and then uh, with some careful painting, they gotta have paint that looks like wood. I mean, it's gotta be there. It's gotta be around. Put paint on there, and you shouldn't even notice anything. Anyway, I'm moving along. Don't know if I'll finish this tonight. I mean, might just do the sculpting tonight and uh, oven it, and then just let it sit. Uh, let's see how far we get.